Welcome everyone to another video and in this video we're going to be featuring some battles using Shadow Alolan Marowak. Uh, this is uh, from YYDS Willow, some I featured a numerous amount of times. They also have a YouTube channel uh, which they showcase their battles in uh, Mandarin. So if you're interested in that, definitely uh, check them out. Once they comment, I will definitely pin their comment. Uh, but let's go ahead and get started. Uh, with the battles, this probably should be like a 15 minute video or something like that. So uh, obviously you can see the length of the video before you, before you start watching here. It's obviously a tremendous lead here. So let's just move this out of the way. Obviously really good uh, counter switch. Unfortunately, they cropped the video very weirdly. I'm not sure why, but anyways, you can barely see the charge moves, but obviously we know what they're going to have. Uh, the psychic would deal super effective damage, so we'll have to shield. Probably can farm down. Yeah, definitely can farm down. Two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, just barely able to farm down, which is very nice. They're obviously going to come in uh, Frostlass. I believe this is in the Remix Cup. They do end up shielding the Dragon Claw. I'm going to throw another Dragon Claw here. Uh, the Close Combat is a single resisted, so it makes sense to go Dragon Claw. Uh, close Combat probably still does more raw damage, but... Uh, Okay, obviously a little bit of a tricky situation here. Gonna have to shield this. Um, they do have quite a bit of energy. They do see them throw the Shadow Ball. And here comes uh, Electrode. Let's see. No, it's a Raichu. Oh, it's a Raichu here. Uh, very interesting. Uh, we'll see what they throw here. They end up throwing the Wild Church. Does a tremendous amount of damage, but I'm gonna get bugged by down. And uh, this uh, Frostless has absolutely no chance against arachnid i'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it um yes this is in the remix cup yeah they, they cropped it kind of weirdly um but that's fine totally fine all right we're gonna see Ooh, this is a very bad lead here but yeah a bad lead so i'm gonna switch out to the spider this thing does ha learn rock weather ball but honestly this thing is pretty tanky uh, the rock weather ball doesn't even do half so in a pretty good spot uh, can let this go as well. Uh, definitely wouldn't KO. They wouldn't be able to farm down at least that easily. You can see they are going to throw the bubble beam. Uh, we'll see whether or not they'll shield. They do end up shielding. Okay, they come into Sylveon. Okay, well, this is okay though, right? Because then can farm down the Sylveon afterwards uh, with Alolan Marowak. Okay, going to go for the big farm down. Uh, probably not going to shield this Psy Shock. Okay, going to shield the Psy Shock. Okay. This is interesting. Now, and then they're going to farm this all the way down. I guess, like, without it, the farm down is pretty close. Okay. Going to have to throw here. Mm, I would have preferred the farm down, but... Uh, oh, here comes Ludicolo. Going to throw the Shadow Bone. No shield. In a very good spot here. The opponent does lag a little bit there. Uh, this is a uh, CMB tie. No, okay, they actually switch here. Okay, gonna catch this rock weather ball onto uh, Como. Como has a really good matchup, especially if they don't have Hurricane. Gonna throw the Dragon Claw anyways. And in a fantastic spot, um, gonna be able to take it out. This uh, Ludicolo is gonna, there's absolutely no chance they have here. Uh, gonna shield this, because likely this is an Ice Beam. It is an Ice Beam. And gonna be able to farm down the Ludicolo. Do not tell, though, we just saw uh, Ludicolo go down. All right. And we're going to go into uh, the next match. I would love to see the Fire Blast land onto that cast form, but perhaps another day. So good lead. These Fire Spins do a tremendous amount of damage. And they come into Empoleon. Going to throw the Shadow Bone and then probably look to switch into Como after this. Yeah, going to switch to Como. No shield this for sure. Right, the drill pack doesn't KO. Um, does a lot of damage, uh, but does have the dragon claw here. Gonna throw the dragon claw. Uh, I think this frost size did like three, three before switching. Um, also gonna have to wait the clock out. Uh, so they should be one off the shadow ball here. Obviously, they can, they'll just go straight avalanche. I don't think there's any point in throwing the shadow. Oh, they actually do throw the shadow ball. Yeah, because the avalanche definitely would have KO'd. Uh, and they would have even turned our move. Oh, this is really, really good here. Honestly, I'd probably just switch to the spider. Start debuffing them. Okay. Um, 
but I guess they could leave with some energy. Um, and this this is this is definitely game over here. Uh, gonna shield. Uh, we'll see if they focus blast. Oh, they do focus blast. Is actually really really good now. Yeah, <laughs> you can basically just just uh, farm down this uh, Reggie all the way. Uh, likely can just bug bite down. Yeah, definitely can just bug bite down. And they're gonna go for the farm down. It doesn't matter if they would farm down because one Zapkin does not KO uh, the Arachnid and gonna be able to bug bite down the Registeel and we say goodbye to it. I heard it's scared of spiders and uh, we just confirmed that. So, all right, we're gonna go into uh, this next match. We're gonna see, ooh, very bad lead. Probably gonna go with the spider. Okay, oh, it's actually a bubble one. That's That's kind of strange to be honest. And uh, likely an EQ. I still wouldn't shield this. Oh, they weather ball. What am I talking about? They're both moves are resisted. Um, all moves are resisted. I'm very curious why they're staying. Uh, EQ is obviously that's why uh, it's very good against uh, uh, Wall Rain. So definitely not going to shield this. They do go EQ and going to get farmed down. Really interesting. Interesting. And here comes uh, Machamp. Well, this is really bad for the opponent. Uh, they actually end up shielding the bubble beam, though, which is uh, definitely a feels bad moment. They come into Marowak, can just go into Como at this point in time, and uh, in a really, really, really good spot. Definitely doesn't need to shield anything from this uh, Marowak. Uh, this Dragon Claw would put them r r quite low. You just let this go. Okay, gonna shield this. I was gonna say just let go. Uh, they end up Shadow Bowling, Boning. Um, yeah, you let this go. Could could shield it doesn't really matter to be honest. Uh, I guess you don't want to get like a rock slided onto your uh, little Marowak. That would be quite bad. Uh, they do get the farm down, which is uh, not great. Uh, the question is here: Do they rock slide or do they? Okay, they go. Okay, just kind of be able to, honestly though. If they would have rock slide, you could but could easily bug bite down. And uh, we're going to say goodbye to Machamp. And a uh, nice, nice win there. Very nice win. All right, we're off to the next match. I believe they're 4-0 and oh in this set. And we're going to see Alolan Marowak into Machamp. Very good matchup here. Obviously, the... Oh, this is a cross shot. There's only uh, it's definitely a cross shot. It's not enough for the, the rock slide. Interesting uh, that they would throw the cross shot. Maybe they're not aware of the typing. And okay, gonna actually switch to the spider. Very uh, curious move there. I guess looking to bait something out. They go cross shot again. Oh wow, okay, that's crazy. All right, this person really likes their cross shops. Um. Honestly, I don't think you shield this, right? Like, uh, they do end up rock sliding. And you're going to have to throw. Oh, they come into Clefable. Okay, well, this is totally fine. It's a good thing to bait out the Charmer here. Very good thing that they did that. And going to immediately go into Alolan Marowak. And going to have to throw, or otherwise might get Charmed down. Does get an extra move through. Maybe look to go double. Double uh, uh, Shadow Bone, then throw. Definitely cannot farm down. It's it's really too close of a matchup there. All right, so we're going to see what's in the back. And it ends up, wow, that is, wow, 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 wow. Damn, damn, that's bad. Damn, damn, more of a damn. Wow, okay, damn, okay, okay. All right, hopefully I don't get demonetized there, but damn, damn, that did a lot of damage. Wow, okay. All right. Wow. Okay. Wow. Okay. <laughs> that was that was. Ooh. Ooh. That was uh, that was very bad. Very very bad. They definitely shouldn't have stayed. The spider versus. Uh, they had uh, two good answers in Clefable and in uh, in Wormadam. Um, Worm both of them uh, resist uh, bug bite. Wouldn't take that much damage from Bubble Beam. Okay, we're off to this uh, next set. Willow's obviously aware of how shocked I was when that fire blast landed onto the Wormadam. Okay, all right. Okay, that's enough. No, let's just get started into the battle. 
don't know. Did they dimensions change on this video? It's weird. Okay. All right. Oh, okay. Maybe they have queue times. That's why. Not sure. Oh, okay. Yeah, it looks like they aired out. Okay. We're going to go into... Okay. This is a good lead. Very good lead. Uh, we'll see what that pony wants to do. They will make it to the... Oh, very nice catch on onto the mud bomb beforehand, but they double resist. Uh, okay, they actually switch in Hypno into what the heck? Okay, I guess they have Thunder Punch. Uh, I don't think it would KO, to, to be honest, but um, definitely would not KO. I'm gonna throw the Bug Buzz. We'll see if the opponent is aware that this thing has Bug Buzz and that uh, they do end up not shielding. Honestly, Toxic Crow could probably just run this thing all the way down because uh, it. The bug bites aren't doing very much damage. You let this go for sure. Definitely no point in shielding. And then come into Alolan Marowak. Probably do breathe in. Okay, they actually try to catch there. Oh man. Oh man. Please tell me they don't shield. Please tell me they don't shield. Please tell me they don't shield. Oh! <laughs> that was disgusting there. That did so much damage. That did so much damage that was really really nice really very nice there um yeah well that did a lot that did a lot i'm not gonna lie that did a lot of damage all right uh looks like they are running to some queuing issues okay there you go all right we have alolan marowak into jorachi you love to see it exactly where you want to see it they're actually staying which is fantastic Gonna throw uh, right before they make it to uh, or the psychic. Uh, gonna have to shield this. Well, they'll likely throw Doom Desire. Oh, they actually throw psychic. Very interesting. Gonna look to farm all the way down. Okay. All right. Let's see what they have in the back. Okay. It's actually a Provo Pass. Okay. Interesting. Well, you definitely come Como here. Uh, it is a rock. Um, Throw one. Interesting. Gonna throw the Dragon Claw. Uh, unless they have Magnet Bomb, uh, there's really not too much this Probo can do to uh, this Como. Uh, they do have Magnet Bomb. Still doesn't do that much, to be honest. And these Dragon Tails are certainly adding up. I'm gonna throw another move here. Uh, they didn't bloody go. Here comes Frostlass. Okay. This is extremely tricky here. Uh... Do they pay here? Oh, they have, oh, they have crunch. What the heck? I thought it wasn't enough for the shadow ball, so that's why I was kind of confused there. Um, okay, they do go attack, does debuff. Okay. Um, honestly, like crunch and I guess crunch you get the value of the, the potential debuff, um, but it's not uh, doing very much damage. This spider is gonna just chip away at this frost last. It's looking really bad for the frost last. Even if they could make it to another crunch, uh, uh, it wouldn't. It would definitely would not KO. And uh, can just one more Dragon Tail after this. Uh, after this Bubble Beam will KO the Frostlass, and this is definitely gonna be a GG. They're actually just gonna stay and assert dominance with the Arachnid, and um, nice, nicely played. All right. against Alex 18. Oh, a whack mirror. All right. You'd love to see it. Oh, it's actually hex though, which is uh, quite bad. They do make it to the shadow bone faster. Ooh. Oh, they come to Zwilus. Very nice play, but you go to the spooter here, right? Uh, defense does fall. Uh, you let this go body slam, right? And gonna look to farm all the way down. Okay, they come back. Uh, okay, they come in cash here. Wow, okay. Well, they're definitely going to no shield this, right? Because they definitely know it's going to be. Um, they blind through there, right? So, but this is a good matchup for uh, Spooder, right? To resist everything. And this does absolutely nothing. Going to throw the um, a Bug Bus. I don't think they shield this, to be honest. Oh, they actually do end up shielding. Okay, wow, this is really, really good. Fantastic situation here. Uh, likely they have a uh, fire blast, so just gonna shield everything. Uh, do they shield this though? Uh, probably not. Uh, and they, they won't make it to move, so it's just good. 
And gonna throw the Dragon Claw. I, I presume they're gonna shield this one. Um, and this is uh, definitely a GG. Uh, you just shield this, even if they, they bait. It doesn't make a big difference because they, they wouldn't have been able to outpace anyways uh, to before the um, uh, before the dragon claw came in, which would have effectively uh, KO their uh, cash. All right, I believe this is the the final game that we're going to be showing off with this team. Some fantastic battles by Willows, as always. So this is a good lead. Obviously, these charms are chunking quite a bit. We'll be able to outpace to the fire blast. And uh, we're going to say goodbye to Wigglytuff right now. See you later. And they come into their own Shadow Marowak. Oh, they bunkle up here. Well, that's good. You just let this go. I, I actually don't. Okay, it's just KO, but that's fine. And uh, in a good spot. Uh, that This is likely CMP, right? Yeah, it is CMP. Uh, going to shield. Uh, it would be CMP again on the next one. They come into Frostlass. Ooh, okay. Well, you just let this go, right? Uh, they do end up Shadow Balling. Uh, the Shadow Ball honestly didn't do as much as I thought it would. And uh, now they're in uh, kind of kind of trouble here, but they could potentially farm down. Uh, you let this go. No point in shielding this, in my opinion, but... They didn't shadow balling. Okay, well, this is looking kind of rough here. We might end up on a loss. We'll see. They really need to get out here. They really need to get out. Oh, okay. Well, they need to sneak here. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, gonna throw. They end up shielding, which is a very interesting play. And they actually leave the match. Is 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 that matchup over? Okay, uh, I, I believe this is the end of the set. Uh, okay, no, they have one more. Okay, wow. Okay, was that game over? Did the Frostlass not have enough energy? Um, for two avalanches. Um, okay, this is obviously a very bad lead. Uh, so we're probably gonna see that. Oh, they're actually gonna switch to the Arachnid, and gonna be met by wow. Okay, that is uh very weird. Uh, the bug bites are neutral, right? Because uh, they're psychic fire right and uh oh, this is interesting and the bubble beams are obviously super effective well okay they're double shielding i think you just let this go right it does definitely doesn't ko uh do you even shield this i don't think so and uh oh, okay well now you farm down with uh uh a little mirwak they do go V-Create. going to look to farm it all the way down. And uh, we're going to see it come back. Oh, going to have to shield this. And then look to switch after this. This Shadow Bone will put them below half. They technically could make it to the second Shadow Bone before the next move. Uh, but that's okay. Oh, well, that is quite bad for the opponent. This is real bad for the opponent. Real, real bad. Um... You just shield this because uh, this is uh, it's definitely GG. This is oh, okay, kind of a weird animation there because the dragon tail did go through KO and they immediately came back in. No hesitation there, and uh, gonna be able to finish this off with a very another impressive. I believe that was 10 0 there, so really well done. Thank you very much, Willis, for saying these battles. If you like, sort of like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see everyone in the next video.